some people suffer a severe pain anytime they see a question involving the multiplication or division of negative numbers from the time they see that negative sign pain pain now if you're one of those people suffering from that condition here's something you can do to try and um, recover first thing you want to do is memorize this table the first column in the table the second column in the table they just tell us the sign that is going to be on the numbers being multiplied or divided and the last column is going to tell us what the sign the, what sign the answer will take so for example if the first number has a negative sign and the second number has a negative sign the answer should be positive and what you'll know in this what you'll notice in this table is if the signs are the same the answer is positive but if the signs are mixed up the answer is negative so that's what you can use to memorize the table let's see how this works out in examples quickly positive 3 multiplied by negative 3 so we notice first thing we are doing is multiplying 3 by 3 3 by 3 is 9 Leave that answer like that, your teacher will put it wrong, you get frustrated, you see why people invent maths, you hate maths, blah, 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 blah. All right, but what you should notice is that this tree has a positive sign and this tree has a negative sign. So because the signs are different, go back at the table and you will know that this has to be negative nine. The answer will be negative. Next question. Negative 16 being divided by negative four. 16 divided by four is four. But because the signs are the same, the answer would be positive. Now, the thing with positive signs, you could actually leave them out. You can leave them out of the answer and it would be assumed as positive. Last two examples and we'll call that George. Negative half, negative a half multiplied by four. Once again, we see a negative sign and we see no sign, which means it's positive. So negative by positive, the answer is two. And the answer must be negative according to the table you can go back and check the table and since you now understand that perfectly at least at this level you can do this answer so write the answer for this guy in the comments write the answer for number four in the comments and let's see what you can do with that